Hi everyone, I'm Elijah. Welcome to Music Greatness. For today's lesson, I'm going to break down my song. It sounds just like this. Okay, for this first part, we're going to take a look at the intro and verse 1. We're playing in the key of C. And for the chords we're going to use, we're starting with a C major chord. Playing C on my left. And C major, second inversion on my right hand. G, C, E. Then we have F major 7, that's F on the left, F, A, C, E. Going down to E minor 7. E on the left, E, G, B, D. After that, we're moving up with A minor 7. A for the left, G, A, C, and E, right hand. Then we have this, D minor 9, D on the left, right hand, I'm playing F, A, C, and E, so just like F major 7, now the root note is D, so that's the minor 3rd, the 5th, the seventh and then the ninth on top. Then we have F over G. So on the right hand, I'm going to play F on its root position. So that's F, A, and C. And then for the left, I'm going to play G. So that's F over G. Then from here, I'm going to change one note and that's the top note from C up to D. And now I'm playing D minor, F, A, D, with G on the bass. D minor over G. Okay, we're going to continue with D minor 7. D for the left, once again, right hand, D, F, A, C. So root, minor 3rd, 5th, and 7th. And we're going to finish with F major 7 over G. G on the left, F, A, C, E for the right hand. Okay, let's play the intro. Two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So on the left, I'm going to play C twice, one and, so that's the first beat and also on the end of the first beat. Then second beat, I'm playing G, going to F on the end of the second beat. So that's one and two and three, four. One and two and three, four. Okay, now for the right hand. I'm going to play my C chord at the same time I'm playing the two C's on my left. So one and. And then playing F on my left, I'm going to play F major 7. So that's on the end of the second beat. One and 
two and three and four and and now coming at the end of the third beat we have F on the fourth beat I'm playing A and on the end of the fourth beat I'm playing C three and four and so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and okay we're going to continue now and play pretty much the same thing but now I'm not going to play G on my left on the second beat so we have this one and two and three and four and then we're going to finish the intro playing this so I played the same thing on my right hand but for the left I played C only once on the first beat then G on the end of the first beat F sharp or G flat on the second beat and then F on the end of the second beat so one and two and three four one and two and three and four and and playing the last three notes we're going to gradually slow down the tempo so F A C so one and two and three and four and right before starting the verse okay once again here's the complete intro two three four one and two and three and four and 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 great coming up next we have verse one and we're going to use this pattern in the verse it goes like this one two and three and four and one two and three and four and one so basically on my right hand I'm going to play the notes that I have on every beat one two three four one two three four and then for the left I'm going to play my root note on the first beat and then also on the end of the second the end of the third and the end of the fourth beat so one two and three and four and one two and three and four and one with the right hand one two and three and four and one two and three and four so we're going to use that pattern a lot during the verse. So now let's play it with the chord progression. We're starting with C for one measure, F major seven, E minor seven, and then A minor seven. Two, three, four. One, two, and three, and four, and one. Two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three and four and one two and three and four and so that's the same pattern the same rhythm but using different notes so c f major seven e minor seven a minor seven then we're going to change the pattern playing over d minor nine it goes like this one two and three and four so I played the full chord on the first beat with all the notes. Then I'm going to replay the notes on my right hand on the second beat and replay the root note on the end of the second beat. So one, two, and. And then next up, I'm going to play F over G on the third beat and then D minor over G on the end of the third beat. One, two, and. 
And then after that, I'm going to repeat the same thing, the same chord progression, but instead of waiting for the first beat of the next measure, I'm going to play the first chord, so C major, on the end of the fourth beat. So, one, two, and three, and four, and. Okay, so that's when I'm going to restart my chord progression. Goes like this, two, three, four. One, two, and three, and four, and one. 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 Two, and three, and four, and repeat. Two, and three, and four, and one. Two, and three, and four, and one. Two, and three, and four. So the second time around playing the chord progression, I'm going to finish the entire measure. So I'm not going to play the next chord on the end of the fourth beat, but on the first beat of the next measure. And the next one is D minus seven, starting the second part of verse one. Okay, it will go like this. Two, three, four, one. Two and three and four and one. Two and three and four and one. Two and three and four and one. Two, three, four. So now I'm playing D minus seven, followed by E minus seven, then F major seven, moving up to F major seven over G. So this. So for the left, the rhythm is the same. I'm playing on the first beat and also on the end of the second, third and fourth beat. But now I'm going to alternate between the root note and the fifth. So for D, the fifth is A. So we have this one, two and three and four and. Okay. I'm going to do the same for E minor. The fifth is B. So. One, two, and three, and four, and like this. One, two, and three, and four, and one. Two, and three, and four, and one. Two, and three, and four, and one. So the pattern on the left for F is slightly different. I have F on the first beat, then C, F, and now I'm going to sneak in F sharp before landing on G. So one, two, and three, and four, and one, like this. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four. And on F major seven over G, I'm simply going to play the chord and rest on it. One, two, and three, and four, and one. Two, three, four. One more time. One, two, and three, and four, and one. Two, and three, and four, and one. Two, and three, and four, and one. Two, three, four. Okay? And then to finish the verse, I'm going to reuse the pattern from the intro playing this. So I played the back and forth between C and F major 7. Using the same melody line C, C, G, F on the left. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and two and three and four and and now unlike the intro i'm going to play the g on the second beat as well one and two and three and four and and then to finish one and two and three four 
So now I played C, G, F sharp, F. One and two and three, four. And I'm going to finish the verse resting on F major seven. So I'm not going to play F, A, C after that. One and two and three, four, one. Okay, let's quickly replay the entire verse slow tempo. Two, three, four. One, two, and three, and four, and one. 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 Three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, four, one. Perfect. Let's replay the intro and verse one at full speed. And that's all for this first part. For the rest of the song, please head over to musicgreatness.com. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.